Ladies and gentlemen, the President-elect of the United States, Donald John Trump. <laughs> Size prayed to the same God, commonplace and miraculous. The prayer of King Solomon from the Book of Wisdom. Let us pray. And safeguard us by her glory. Amen. From the Gospel of Matthew, the fifth chapter, God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for Him, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they will be satisfied. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. He blesses those who are pure in heart, for they will see God. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called children of God. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. And God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. For you are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on its stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, that everyone will praise your Heavenly Father, respectfully in Jesus' name. We come to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, with grateful hearts, thanking you for this great country that you have decreed to your people. We acknowledge we are a blessed nation with a rich history of faith and fortitude, with a future that is filled with promise and purpose. We recognize that every good and every perfect gift comes from you, and the United States of America is your gift, for which we proclaim our gratitude. As a nation, we now pray for our president, Donald John Trump, Vice President Michael Richard Pence, and their families. We ask that you would bestow upon our president the wisdom necessary to lead this great nation, the grace to unify us, and the strength to stand for what is honorable and right in your sight. In Proverbs 21.1, you instruct us that our leader's heart is in your hands. Gracious God, reveal unto our president the ability to know the will, your will, the confidence to lead us in justice and righteousness, and the compassion to yield to our better angels. While we know there are many challenges before us, in every generation you have provided the strength and power to become that blessed nation. Guide us in discernment, Lord, and give us that strength to persevere and thrive. Now bind and heal our wounds and divisions and join our nation to your purpose. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. The psalmist declared, let your favor be upon this one nation under God. Let these United States of America be that beacon of hope to all people and nations under your dominion, a true hope for humankind. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Religion, that the things that make America, America. So help me God. So help me God. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. That, so help me God. So help me God.
The Bible tells us how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. We will be protected by God. We all bleed the same red blood of patriots. And whether a child is born in the urban sprawl of Detroit or the windswept plains of Nebraska, they look up at the same night sky, they fill their heart with the same dreams, and they are infused with the breath of life by the same almighty Creator. Together, we will make America great again. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. Eternal God, bless President Donald J. Trump and America, our great nation. Guide us to remember the words of the psalmist, who may dwell on your holy mountain, one who does what is right and speaks the truth, who knows that when you eat the labor of your hands, you are praiseworthy, that he who sows in tears shall reap in joy. Bless all of our allies around the world who share our beliefs. By the rivers of Babylon, we wept as we remembered Zion. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its skill. The doer of all these shall never falter. May the days come soon when justice will dwell in the wilderness and righteousness will abide in the fertile fields and the work of righteousness will be peace, quietness, and confidence forever. Amen. In the Bible, rain is a sign of God's blessing. And it started to rain, Mr. President, when you came to the platform. And it's my prayer that God will bless you, your family, your administration, and may he bless America. The passage of Scripture comes from 1 Timothy chapter 2. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings, for all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good, and it pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you, Father, for letting us share this great moment together. Let us not take for granted the air we breathe or the life you've given us. We were all created by you with one blood, all nations to dwell upon this land together. We are not enemies, but brothers and sisters. We're not adversaries, but we're allies. We are not foes, but we're friends. Let us be healed by the power of your love and united by the bond of your spirit. Today, we pray for our 45th president, the vice president, and their families, and give them the wisdom to guide this great nation, the strength to protect it, and the hands to heal it. We bless President Donald J. Trump. We ask that you give him the wisdom of Solomon, the vision of Joseph, and the meekness of Christ. Solomon, who kept peace among many nations, Joseph, who dreamt better for the people, and Christ, who accepted us all. O oh Lord, mend our hearts and stitch together the fabric of this great country. In the spirit of the legendary gospel songwriter Mahalia Jackson, O oh, deep in my heart I do believe, 
The Lord will see us through, I do believe. We are on our way to victory, I do believe. We will walk hand in hand, I do believe. We shall live in peace, I do believe. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe. America, we shall overcome. May the Lord bless and keep America, make his face shine upon us, and be gracious unto us, and give us peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Let us pray. Eternal Lord God, our refuge and strength, we praise you that we have nothing to fear. We can stand fearlessly during this season of peaceful transition because we know your providence will prevail. Lord, we're grateful for this inaugural luncheon and for your providence that has brought President Donald J. Trump to this milestone moment. You have admonished us to pray for leaders and governments, so we pray for our new president. Lord, crown his labors with success, leading him to the destination you have chosen. Surround him, his family, and the members of his cabinet with the shield of your divine protection and favor. May President Trump seek your wisdom, justice, and grace, leading with your strength, which reaches out to those on life's margins, the lost, lonely, last, least, and left out. May he remember that those who would leave a legacy of greatness must strive to become servants of all. Lord, inspire our president to perform his God-appointed duties with such reverence for you that his tenure will be like the sun shining forth on a cloudless morning, like a rainbow after a storm, and like the singing of the birds at dawn. Bless our food and fellowship, we pray in your sovereign name. Amen.